Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have uh, a passionate sexual reading. I mean sensual, okay. So uh, we here's the devil, Sagittarius. He's called the tempter or the seducer. And he's uh, doing his little, you know, dance of temptation. But he really wants something. And there's a lot of passion because uh, the flames are burning in the back, which is very Sagittarian, right? Or uh, very fiery energy, right? And so here he is, and he's offering a rose, and, you know, he um, is, can be, you know, somebody just really desires you. That's all this really, really is this, what this is about. I beg your pardon, you guys. <laughs> yeah, somebody is uh, smitten, and uh, I would say it's more than that, but there's so much temptation and desire and passion. We start with the two of Raphael. This is really... Um, the two of hearts uh, or the two of cups, I believe. But uh, here's these two people and they have their hands to each other, almost like high five, right? But uh, it's it's more uh, romantic than a high five, right? I don't want anybody giving me a high five. I want them to give me, you know, something else, but not, <laughs> not romantically. But this is two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. Yeah, don't give up on them. Mm-hmm. Reminds me of the song from the 70s by David Soul, uh, and he used to sing, sing that song, uh, Don't Give Up on Us Baby, right? And then, you know, he, he said, uh, let's try again. But, you know, we have uh, the deception card reversed, uh, and we this is a coyote and the datura. I'm not sure what the datura is. It's some type of a plant, right? Uh, looks like orchids, kind of uh, beautiful, though. But it's in the reverse. This is deceit. But in the reverse, it talks about, it can uh, definitely indicate or imply at the very least that there was deception in the past, right? But now it talks about, am I worthy of being trusted? In other words, somebody's no longer lying here and they don't want to give up on this, Sagittarius. They're like, no, Sagittarius is my, is my one, is my person. And this is the two of cups because in the back is the uh, I, I, I think it's caduceus. I forget how to exp how to uh, pronounce it, uh, but it is you know, and that is. I mean, we'll talk about that possibly in another, uh, because it really signifies a lot here, right? And so, uh, the symbol it's here on the beach with these people, who are like they're not really doing a high five. It's more like a, a ritual, like I love you, kind of like you know, sealing, sealing, uh, sealing the relationship or sealing a commitment, right? But this card reverse, Sagittarius, am I worthy of somebody's trust? Yes. And they want to be worthy of your trust so, so you can start over. Here's the snake and the fern. Yeah. And so this person loves you and they're like, let's start over, right? And I want you to trust me. Um, I'm pretty sure, or I hope you will, something like that. And here's the tempter, as I said, showing up as the seducer, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And so this person really loves you. There's a lot of uh, sexual passion, but there's deep love here because the first card is the two of cups. Here is the shadow boxer. And, you know, he is, uh, he could be doing shadow work on himself possibly. But uh, long story short, I'm sure that's not really exactly what they call him, but these are one of the qualities uh, of that card or, you know, meanings. And here's the man, he's fighting himself, right? He's a knight. And so this means that somebody goes back and forth, basically, and they kind of go, you know, it could be one day I'm do, doing this and the next day, oh, I'm afraid or, or something has blocked me or, you know, it's kind of like when some people uh, want something in their life and, you know, they have the key to it or, you know, or maybe, you know, you have helped them or whatever. They, you know, they just don't go for it because of excuses, uh, procrastination. Procrastination is fear-based, right? But things like that. All right. Uh, there is fear in this reading. There definitely is. When we see uh, the, the black, not the black, the dark halo or the false halo, that's what this is. Uh, this person really loves you, Sagittarius. This could be your energy. It definitely could be. Uh, and this is about taking a chance, and we are uh, right now with within the new moon in Sagittarius, which is about, it can be about fate and destiny, and it can be about taking a chance because of the wheel of fortune, right? And so uh, for expansion, right, which is the whole new moon, which is, you know, very Sagittarian, 
energy or very Jupiterian, right? Jupiter. And so here's the false halo. It can talk about good and evil, right? This person thinks that you might, they, they could be afraid you think they're kind of evil or they might feel that way. Yeah. And so, but this card can talk about hypocrisy. Like maybe they, you know, maybe they have accused you of something they've done or just something like that. It can also talk about kind of just going back and forth. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Right. Uh, especially right next to the shadow boxer, right. Who kind of, you know, stands in front of the mirror sometimes. And he, he says to himself, kind of, what am I going to do? I'm great. And then, you know, then he, uh, then he gets scared and says, no, I'm not great anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm fearful or, uh, kind of negative and, you know, things like that. The fallen angel, uh, the conception of heaven and impartiality. So this card, this is the dark angel is tricking you in the moment. Of course, he has clothed himself in the wonderful coat of lights and procla proclaimed your work or you, right? And the new relationship to be noble, holy, and God-fearing. But he is only dangling a carrot in front of your nose. That's what this person feels, Sagittarius, that uh, that you might not want them. And so this is kind of like a carrot dangling in front of their face. Mm -hmm. So you will trot along in his direction. You therefore don't realize that an eagerness to do good has left you at his mercy. So this is really interesting an eagerness to do good. I don't feel like they were doing good in the past. And now they feel like they're, they're at the devil's mercy kind of, or the false halo's mercy because more the devil, but, uh, they're at this, this mercy because I believe of past deception. And now they're like, well, I want this now. I'm not going to be deceitful. But now I'm at the mercy of change, fear, things like that, right? And let's see what it says. God, good, uh, the eagerness to do good has left you at his mercy. Yes, good is, uh, I believe, made from the word God. Let's see what else it says here. And uh, we're not a religious channel over here. No, we're not. Uh, but, you know, uh, the universe is is really God, in my opinion. So let's see what it says. It says your path leads you the way through the pain, through the problem. Your path leads you through a painful learning process. Yes, of course, there's pain here because I want, I want to get back with Sagittarius. I've done wrong. Uh, and now I'm at the mercy of if I return, I'm not sure Sagittarius will have me, but definitely they want to start over. It's right here, the snake and the fern. In short, you will create, you will not create an image. Every image, noble as it might be, is balsam for your ego and poison for your soul. Somebody, this person, this can talk about ego because remember they were talking about hypocrisy. Ego is a very deep, everybody has to have an ego. It's your self-identity. It is, uh, but you know, the way society talks about ego or maybe has kind of distorted it a little bit or, you know, there's a downside to ego. The downside to ego is selfishness. It can be fear. It can be uh, no self-awareness, right? I'm great and everybody else is messed up and that's not really uh, the, the truth, right? So this ego too, or this uh, false halo, mm, this can talk about kind of being afraid. It can, right? Now is the time to get to work on your shadow side. That's what I wanted to say. This is about somebody has, here has a shadow side. It's interesting about the shadow side because, you know, I was reading the other day, the shadow side is, uh, you shouldn't like just kind of put it away and kind of just say, well, I did this in the past and I'm, I'm bad. And you know, I did this and, uh, I'm not worthy. No, you have to embrace it and face it and embrace it. Right. And say, okay, well, uh, maybe I did this for that or, but it's a way to be aware of, you know, what needs to be worked on. Right. You just don't like, uh, put it underneath the pillow, uh, and, you know, go back to the closet where you stuff the pillow and, you know, look at it 10 years later. No, everybody has to work on their shadow side, but it always includes embracing that. It's really interesting and kind of forgiving yourself. Uh, if there's a, maybe we'll talk about the shadow side in a video, right? Because I feel like everybody has at one time or another confronted their shadow side, whether or not they have done anything mean or not. It's just kind of based on mistakes and, you know, maybe bad habits and, low self-awareness, etc. right? Okay. And you know, we have two people here, two people here. I feel like this person is definitely, and two people over here with the two of Raphael, this is definitely about a choice to be together.
this person wants to go from the dark to the light like here is the false halo over here they were doing up to no good Sagittarius and now they have changed right they went from the witch to the halo right to the uh to the angel right now now they're like uh i feel like they're at your mercy i feel like they are definitely at your mercy and this is how they feel right so here's the thoughts the sudden wealth and the polar bear so here's the man he's painted this woman's picture so he could like kind of really meditate on her right and he he has uh here's the paint brushes and you know he has written something here on this i can't tell what it is it looks like a big uh, w or an m uh well for him it would probably a w be a w uh but you know he he's looking at her like he loves her he wouldn't have wasted his time painting her right no nobody you know no for sure the sudden wealth card is here it's not usually about wealth it's usually about sudden action yeah and so here's the polar bear so the polar bear you are super powerful to them and this is a very powerful thought for them i believe it is this uh polar bear like uh this is what i need to do and uh this is you know super powerful in their life we know that you are very powerful to them sagittarius because of uh they feel like that that they are at your mercy or they are at the mercy of what they have done and all of both right a both a and b and you know so let's get into it sagittarius and let's see what we have and we've already shuffled these cards uh and let's see what we have for sagittarius please <clears throat> and we've already done the shuffle and the snuffles and um what's that a dance that they used to do i don't know i feel like it was back in the jazz days something about shuffles or something okay let's see what we have you guys for sagittarius mm -hmm. and uh we have the knight of pentacles and the chariot and the ten of wands so this journey for you sagittarius is very burdening or it has bothered you this is the current situation but this is somebody whoever this is up here whether it's you or this person this is the situation the current situation this journey or this victory is very burdening because they really want it <clears throat> and they're at your mercy uh right there's a bunch of songs about mercy <laughs> and let's see uh maybe they are an earth sign they could be a cancer here with with the chariot the chariot is really interesting because the original uh the original kind of one of the very original meanings of the chariot was here we see the black sphinx and the white sphinx right and they are next to each other um and you know uh but and, and you know usually what this chariot means is that there's two opposing forces right this is why they are depicting them that way sometimes they have them depicted as a horse and the horse is two horses sometimes one horse is pulling one way and the other way or the other horse the other way this just means that you know uh somebody's having a really hard time here with these opposing forces right and the opposing forces uh in this particular reading is that this person thinks you don't want to start over with them uh and <clears throat> there could be something else that they have to do here uh, something else i don't know if it's an ending or not the judgment is reversed and judgment in the reverse can talk about an ending because we know in the upright it is a new beginning it is it's either a rebirth uh, or a decision that is uh, basically uh, possibly to have this victory because that's what this is about in the reverse it could be a decision made against somebody else like you know and this is about uh, two people sometimes uh, because judgment is the number two uh it is 20 which is two but this can also be about two people as i've been saying this is definitely about two people but there could be a third person in this reading they're very good and that could be the burden here as well it's possible this person has lied to you in the past sagittarius or they had you in a third party or just something like that because there is something heavy that they're carrying and this is why the ten of wands is here all right so let's see what else we have for sagittarius and their person the six of cups this is your person from the past and they could be uh the king of pentacles they could have a lot of earth in their chart they could have money they could be somebody with this kind of earthly quality maybe they uh, they could be you know a realtor sometimes we talk about careers anything that has to do with the land or uh or resources right because uh this is earth energy they could be uh, a gemologist i'm just putting that out of there right uh mm -hmm. they could even be a banker because these are this is money a financial planner but 
This person here, Sagittarius, the Nine of Cups is here. This is your wish, this person. All right. Now, down here, remember that the reading can be switched, you guys. I'm just looking at the energy. So you guys have, you guys would know this, right? And over here, in the past, Sagittarius, Two of Swords, Seven of Cups, uh, Four of Wands. I just feel like this person here, uh, they could be coming in really soon right now. They really could. This person doesn't want to lose you, right? We have this card, the Two of Raphael. And this is two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. They don't want you to give up on them. And they're afraid that maybe you are or you will. Your person went through some type of an awakening and it's painful. We were seeing it here with, I feel like, uh, with the false halo. It's a painful process they're going through with recognizing something. And it's probably your, their love for you. And their past deeds, which were not good, it looks like. So, down here, this Seven of Cups, this person has had, in the past, they had options. They could have, uh, you know, maybe they had somebody else here, right? They could have, uh, they could have been juggling. Uh, but definitely, I feel like this person had some type of options. I also feel like this person here, Sagittarius, uh, was trying to choose you. But they don't know whether or not your game basically right uh that's a good word for said for uh thanksgiving right here in the united states game <laughs> uh don't come over here you guys and shoot these turkeys in the yard all right because there are turkeys out there and uh mm -hmm. yeah there are so let's see i mean i'm not right now but they sure show up they sure do and they always come as a family yeah they're totally uh you never see a turkey alone i feel like that is so cute you know uh, yeah, they're totally uh, family animals, right? Not like a, uh, maybe maybe a coyote will come alone. I mean, there are packs of coyotes, I believe, but mm hmm So, you know, the Four of Wands, Sagittarius, this person wants to reach, this man's trying to reach for his wish here in the Seven of Cups, right? Uh, he is trying to choose, and, you know, here's the dragon kind of almost kind of, kind of close to nipping him, uh, and he's trying to reach for this wreath here or the jewels. The snake is here. Uh, there's another snake under this uh, under this kind of uh, cloth, or you know. And here's the castle here, uh, which is built on a really uh, f a flimsy foundation. Your person clearly is trying to reach for what they want or what they feel like is the best or very good. And the four of wands is showing up. This was union as well. So, but the two of swords was with it. I I just feel like this person really labored with this decision because of some deception they have done. Uh, I feel like there's also some type of an ending for them because here's the Six of Swords, a transition. And here is, oh, I left a card out. And here is Judgment Reversed. And this is the overall energy. Now, your person, their perspective, Sagittarius, is the High Priestess, the Six of Swords. And we need another card. Yeah, for Sagittarius's person. And they have the wheel of fortune. It is reversed. So they think that their 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 wish is not going to come true or the wheel won't turn for them. That's kind of what they feel here. Like, I'm not going to have good luck. And I also feel like this person is trying to get to a calmer place here or a better, not calmer, but a better place in their life with the transition card. Uh, they could be rowing away. Maybe they are a Pisces or Scorpio. They might be rowing away from a Piscean or a Scorpio, right? Uh, it's interesting how we have a lot of water always in your reading and earth. We do. Uh, but, you know, this is also uh, trusting your intuition. It is uh, with the high priestess, right? The all-knowing. But, you know, in this, car, in this reading here, this is somebody who is very much trying to trust their psychic abilities. And that's what this uh, false halo can talk about too. I need to go from the darkness to the light. I need to figure this out, right? Because the witch holds up the tree of life. Yeah, she does. I feel like it is. But, uh, and it's kind of, it looks like it's split in two. It's kind of interesting. But, and, uh, and the, the angel holds up the light, right? But, you know, this witch, is, it's not so much, uh, she's not so much evil. It's not really. It's, kind of your shadow side and things like that, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, this person here, this Wheel of Fortune reversed here, I just feel like this is a very painful process for them, this transition. 
and you're in the reverse, I feel like this is their perspective. They don't know if you're going to want them. That's why you're showing up as the wheel of fortune in the reverse. This is how I read, the, read this, right? Some other reader might see it different, but, you know, it's kind of how I see it. Mm -hmm. Let's get another card on their perspective. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius' person. Oh, and we have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they really want to hold on to you here. So they're trusting their intuition here. They definitely are. Mm -hmm. And here in the future, Sagittarius, Six of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the, and the Nine of Cups, you look like you're going to have your wish here. But we're going to go to the extended and uh, do a spread just dedicated to them, right? Dedicated to the one you love, Sagittarius, I'm pretty sure. And we're going to finish the Lenormand spread here, where the man's uh, definitely dreaming of this woman, or not dreaming, but he painted her to see her. And we're going to finish this spread. We're also going to finish this spread uh, right here with the tempter or the seducer and the false halo and those cards there. Thank you so much. We're going to see how they feel about you, Sagittarius, the environment they're in. And we're also going to see how they are looking at this whole thing and what has caused this sort of like the underlying energies, right? And also what's unknown about them and their true intentions. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Yeah, God bless you guys. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there, uh, for sure, right? Um, if, you know, if you are, like, celebrating that, um, for me, it's about celebrating family now, because uh, we're not going to discuss the original Thanksgiving, because, because we're not, because it's it just, I'm, I'm not into the original supposed meeting, right? No, I'm not, but I'm definitely into uh, being thankful for everything that we have, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. but always aspiring for for your happiness and success. Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really want to see this reading, Sagittarius. This person is like, like right at the tip of showing up for you. Yeah, even here with the sudden, sudden card, sudden wealth, which is just sudden. It's just about sudden. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, they're all super affordable. I always have the link below, Sagittarius, right? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.